guys, Sexy One Shadow. Welcome to my review for Boku no Hero Academia, episode 38. But before we get into the review here, I just want to talk about a little bit of the future for the series right away because I know um, not many people, um, some people may not watch the whole video, and I wanted to put this out there as soon as possible. But if you're if you do enjoy my Boku no Hero reviews, I will be reading the manga, and so um, if I'm able to, I will have reviews for that as well for weekly reviews, which would be pretty cool, probably like towards the end of the week, just because that works better with my schedule. But um, but I just want to put here um, from Yonko Productions the um, scans from the scan from Weekly Shonen Jump. Uh, the Boku no Hero Academia season three has been confirmed in Weekly Shonen Jump uh, this past week, which is really good, um, definitely. So we can definitely see season three. But I'm gonna be reading the manga just so. Um, just because it's such a good series, and when and it, I really want to see what happens next because of where it left off and everything. But that's really gonna be um, that's really all I have to say on that. So um, definitely, that's what's gonna be happening for Boku no Hero on the channel. We'll still be doing Smash Tap, which um, which it doesn't really have um, which I wonder what I'm not sure what they're gonna be doing with that because the anime is over. But that's a whole different um, story in itself, and it may even be its own separate video. But um. But now to get on to the review. So we have Boku no Hero Academia, episode 38, titled Encounter. So we started the episode right where we left last week. Where, where we left off last week with um, Shigaraki, with um, Giron, Dobby, and Toga. So of course they introduced themselves. It, Dobby and Toga introduced themselves, and then um, after. Shigaraki, um, well, Kugiri has to tell Shigaraki to give them a chance because right away, um, Shigaraki's like, no, I don't want them. But after he gives them a chance, um, Shigaraki gets pissed as usual because you know Shigaraki, and he goes to f he goes to try to attack them, and this is it's this really cool action scene. I'll ha I'll have a pic I'll have a picture of it in the video, but um, it's definitely it was definitely really cool because um, Shigaraki started charging um, charging at the um two of them and then Dobby used his quirk which we don't we don't really know their quirks yet. I'll know their quirks once I read the manga, I'm sure, but um but Dobby used his quirk which like he puts out his hand and he saw kind of like red coming out of his hand. But I don't think it was really blood, it looked kinda of more like a some kind of light or something like that. And then Toga just pulled out a knife, so n nothing really about her quirk. And when they're all about to attack each other, Kurugiri just makes portals and um and makes all of their attacks basically useless, which is re which is really cool on uh, Kurigiri's part. But after that, then T and Shigaraki storms out of the um, the League of Villains hideout place that they have, and he goes to who knows where. But um, this is the beginning of this of um, the importance of the episode because this episode is really important for Shigaraki to finally gain conviction for what he wants to do. So uh, moving on to Class One A, the people who failed the pra the um, practical exam being um, being Ashido, Kaminari, um, yeah, Ashido, Kaminari, then um, Kirishima and Sato. They thought that they weren't, weren't going to be able to go to the training camp because of um, because they failed that. However, um, Aizawa tells them that it is a rash that it was a um, it was a rational um, rational decision to tell them that they wouldn't go because the people who failed the the test actually need the training more. So that they can become better heroes, which is re which was a um, it was definitely a really cool um thing for him to do. But it also turns out, funny plot twist, that because Sarah did absolutely nothing in his uh, practical exam, and Minato did everything because he got knocked out by midnight, Sarah actually failed the practical exam. So he has to deal he has to deal with some um supplementary lessons along with the four others who failed the practical exam. But um, because they have so now they have a day off. And then they have the ending ceremony, but then after that ending ceremony, they're going to go to their training camp for a week. And so, um, and so on the day off, they decide to go, decide to have a group of um, class one A go to the mall and get some stuff for their training camp. So they, so a good amount of them go. They ask Baku go. Baku goes like, "No, I'm not going to do that." And then, uh, Todoroki, they ask Todoroki, but Todoroki said he's going to go visit his mom, which I'm just like, that, that's good. You know, Todoroki's got to visit his mom, sort of make up the time that he had. That he would have had with her if all the stuff that happened didn't quite happen, but um, so they go to the mall, and um, people recognize them from the sports festival, and they eventually all split up and they say we're gonna meet back here by three. So they all split up. 
um, Ochako gets um, gets flustered again because of um, what Aoyama to asked her about her liking Deku, and she runs away to shop on her own. So it just leaves Deku there, and this hooded individual comes up to him, um, comes up to Deku, and he say he starts, it, which is Shigaraki, but Shigaraki, he like, because Midori doesn't look at him right away, so he's kind of like making an act. He's just like, um, I know you from the sports festival and stuff like that. And like, weren't you also with um? Weren't you also at in Hosu during the Hero Killer incident and stuff like that? And then Deku saw it was Shigaraki, and Shigaraki was basically hold was holding his neck. And if Midoriya was going to resist, Shigaraki would um would be would um crumble his neck and thus kill him. So with that, then um they eventually talk Shigaraki, and through their conversation, Shigaraki is able to get conviction for what he wants because he sees that um that what he and Stain were was that um people were looking at uh, were looking more so at Stain than Shigaraki because um well who and he asked Midoriya why do you think people are looking more at Stain than they are at me is be and Midoriya said when I look at what you're doing I don't underst I can't um understand what you're doing and why you're I can't understand why you're doing it but when I look at Stain I can kind of understand what he's going for. Because Stain did acknowledge that he was wrong in what he was doing, but it's um, but it's wrong for the for the um, for the world to become better. So Shigaraki comes to the conclusion that everything is because of All Might, because both Stain and Midoriya had um, had been had would have been um, had admired All Might. So Shigaraki's conviction is to create a world without All Might. So now he has that one reason um, to get rid of to um get rid of All Might. But um Shigaraki was it looks like he's gonna choke Midoriya to death. But then um but then that ends because Ochako kinda comes up and sees this person that she doesn't quite recognize, but then when um but then when Shigaraki attempts to leave, Deku um Deku calls his name, Shigaraki Tomura, and then he asks probably the most important question out of all of this, more important than Shigaraki getting conviction in my opinion. What is one for all? I mean, what? Yeah, what is all for one after? I almost mixed that up there. Yeah, he asked him, "What is all for one after?" And Shigaraki is just like, "Who knows what he's after?" And he walks away. So with that, um, like all police stuff happens because um, Ochako reports that Shigaraki from the League of Villains was at the shopping mall, sort of like torturing Deku, and Deku gets sent to the police station with um, Sukauchi, the um, police officer that's All Might's friend, who is also the leading the investigation of the League of Villains. So so they have that, and then um, he, Sukauchi gets the info he needs from Deku, and then eventually Deku's mom is at the police station, and, they, and she's, like, of course, beside herself, as she always is. Then, um, then eventually the... Um, what else... Oh yeah, and then eventually they go home, and All Might and uh, Sakauchi they they sort they're sort of just like let's they're just, they um kind of talking about stuff, and they're just like let's uh let's properly catch All for One this time, and so now they're on the um now they're on the track to get to and to get um All for One finally apprehended and finally get him out of the picture, which is probably gonna which is probably gonna be. I, f I feel like this is like totally predicting the future, but I feel like All for One is going to be the final boss of the series. Like, I know I know like the manga is only about 20% done according to um, Horikoshi, but I feel like All for One is going to be the final, um, like the final antagonist of the series. But they're going to have other antagonists like throughout the League of Villains and other, um, and other villains that aren't a part of League of Villains. Like, we've already had Sane so far as um, the most prominent villain that was not in the League of Villains. So I think we can get more of that. But we'll definitely see um, as the plot progresses and as I read the manga. But it ends off with All for One being very pre pleased that Shigaraki now has conviction, and now he says that the League of Villains needs people that agree with those con with um, his convictions. And All for One does say that um, if Shigaraki is in need of saving, I will go save him myself. And he's been preparing for that time, and then it ends by um, showing a, um, it shows a like purple substance with like a brain in it. So I think that's him making another Nomu, or maybe the Nomus they had left over. Because if you remember correctly, in the um, in the Stain incident, in the um, Hosu City incident with Stain and whatnot, um, 
all for one had three had six no moves, but he only gave three to Shigaraki. So he had three left over. So maybe that's him making another one, or that maybe may even be something for himself for um all for one. But that's only up to speculation until I read the manga. Um, if the manga even covers that much yet, because as I said, um, manga's about twenty percent done at this point. But that's gonna be it for our Boku no Hero Academia season two reviews, which it's really sad to not do these anymore, but. Um, we'll be reviewing another anime next weekend. We'll start our episode reviews for that, so stay tuned for that. I'm not going to quite reveal it here. I may reveal it over Twitter, so go check check it out over there. Um, also, you may get some early access stuff in terms of my videos if you go join my Discord. So go join my Discord. That link will be in the description as well. Well, that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all next time.